Hello MacWarriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of MacWarrior Online. Today I am playing the King Crab because I just wanted to make something happen with the King Crab and the new tech. And this is what I came up with. Now I wanted to fight at about like three to 400 meters and my build looks exactly like this. I got two MIM-30 launchers here to deal a bit of early damage because they can fight at about like 500 meters and this is really good. Usually assault makes struggle getting to close range and having something to fire at medium range is really good. On top of that we've got these very, no, no we're gonna go over here, these very high mounts so we can just peek with that and uh, deal 60 damage with every volley that we shoot. 60 damage is a lot. Of course the missiles are coming out in a stream of missiles and they are spreading the damage a lot uh, but 60 damage are 60 damage and you know just go ahead and remove some armor early on. So this is what these are for. I've got two Snubnose PPCs as my pinpoint damage potential so uh, the plan is to just fire them early on, the, the medium range missiles and later on when the enemy has not that much armor anymore you just finish off the job with the Snubnoses and six light machine guns. So that's really cool. I really like the light machine guns. They have a lot of range so you can stay at, at about again so like 300 meters would be your optimal firing firing distance. Um, I got the biggest engine here, a light engine 360. Light engine makes it so that you can lose a side torso, you're still up and running. That makes the build pretty tanky, I would say. And we are super fast now. We run 62.7 kph. So getting into our position, into our desired position of about 300 meters is very easy with that now. So this is the race car king crap. On top of that, we got four slots for double heat sinks. We put four in here, we put two in here. The heat management is okay-ish, but uh, not the best. So if you fire all of your weapons together, you are at about 50% heat. I mean, gotta make sure that you just stagger your shots. You take it a bit slow and you don't push it too hard. You could optimize the build. Uh, if you really wanted to optimize the build, then you could go for an MRM launcher 40 and an MRM launcher 20. It has 60 missiles combined. You get one ton that you can use for more ammunition and a bit of more armor. And you have a better heat management of 1.28 compared to 1.25. Uh, problem is... MRM-40s are not allowed to, to fire to be fired together with something else and it will generate ghost heat. That means you need to chain fire your missiles. It is an option. Again, it is a bit more heat efficient because the, the MRM-40 has a bit of a lower, lower heat compared to the number of missiles that it puts out. Uh, but yeah, that, that's, just, that's just it. I like to fire in groups and therefore I'm going for the double MRM-30. And that's, that's just this is my, my playstyle here. The skills look like this. I tried to get as much heat generation as possible without investing too much. My priority was armor here. I wanted to go down the armor path and after that mobility. And after that the operation street to, to get a bit of cool run. Ready to privation and then I had some points to spare. And again, as you can see, I tried to get as many heat management nodes as possible while also taking the high explosive and um, the, the missile spread over here. I didn't want to go down here because... Uh, I had to invest two points and I think heat management is more valuable than the spread. So therefore I'm, I'm missing that here. And that's the build. Whew, it was a lot of talking. <laughs> but yeah, if you liked the video and uh, if you enjoyed the two games that are coming, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing Domination on the Mining Collective and I'm in my race car crap. <laughs> Look at that. Look at how fast I am. This is so cool. 62.7 kph in my king crap. It's really cool. And the MRMs are the, the weapons that Assault makes we're desperately missing. So uh, usually I wanted to have something to fire early on while I'm advancing to the front line and then I took a single launcher of LRMs and now I've got access to MRMs and this is kind of an auto-include. No, not an auto-include, but uh, it's really cool. So we can fire this stuff at about 500 meters which is good so usually when you are playing assault max you and you want to get to the front line you are the unstoppable juggernaut running slowly to the front and uh, yeah until you reach there you can just fire medium range missiles now that's cool so very happy about this addition i really like the weapon in general and uh, we are going to the delta 4 area trying to shoot somebody into echo 4 uh, just because there are enemies over there definitely because the enemy is coming from there and uh, with a bit of luck no don't stop there don't stop there Push forward to Delta 4. Okay, with a bit of luck, uh, we can get some early shots out here. So, enemies coming from Echo 4. Maybe we can get some early damage here. Can See that? Ilya, Ilya needs to die. Oh, there's a guy behind us. Okay, but he is already taken care of. And we are just going ahead and, and push this guy to death. This is our plan here. MRMs! Ah, damn it. I was not quite in, um, in line of sight here. So yeah, I need to back up a bit now, 
Because, uh, again, the enemy is coming from there. Boom. <laughs> I love this missile. Uh, this is such a good weapon. So you can, you can now shoot uh, on a lot of different uh, ranges, a lot of different situations. Oh, not, not the different ranges, but a single range. It's an annihilator coming from the tunnel. Tunnel annihilator. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Okay. Oh, don't run in front of me while I'm firing, dude. This is so painful for you. Okay, so it's getting a bit messy here. Okay, we uh, just kill him, I guess. Yeah, situational awareness was was good, but <laughs> uh, my team did a bit of a messy thing here. Right, so guys, we got four kills. Let's make it happen. Let's kill him. There's a guy behind us. It's a Kintaro, and we got a UAV above our heads. Take it down, just right above our heads. Oh, okay. Problem is that I'm kind of hot, hot, hot-ish, and uh, I need to take care of my heat now. So I really hope that somebody else steps up with me to that ramp. Uh, yeah, we got some guys here. That's good. Pop up heat vision and push forward. Let's push that ramp. Get that Kintaro. Let's go, boys. Ooh, no, 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 no. Wait. Yeah. I figured as much. That hit the ground. That was not really good. So the heat management in this one is um, is a bit awkward. It's not perfect, I have to say. So you really need to take it slow sometimes. And uh, it was not perfect. I think it hit his arm, which is okay on a on a Phoenix Hawk because um, everything is in the arm, every weapon, kind of. Uh, guys, I want to push the center. Is somebody with me? Can we get that Phoenix Hawk? Oh, damn it. So, yeah. I really want to get that guy. I'm, I'm pushing the center now. Please follow up. It's okay, I'm tanking for you. I need just some, some damage here. Uh, he dropped down, okay. So, where's the Phoenix Hawk? Is he still around? Probably not. No, he left. Okay. So, um, left side or right side? I got some enemies on the right there. And uh, they seem to be Acquired. not that engaged already. So let's support here a bit. Okay, Acquired. 300 meters. There was another guy down here. We can do that. Uh, it's not not time yet for that, though. Um, where will he come from? There he comes. All right, time for machine guns. Got him. And again, the heat management is, um, it's really, really tough. So you really need to take your time to cool down again. This is not a, the push, pushing tip of the spare frontline mech, definitely not. But uh, yeah, you can lay some serious fire towards uh, the enemy at mid-range at about, like 300 meter would be optimal because then you can shoot everything at the same time. But uh, yeah, just shoot your medium range missiles early on at about 500. 630 damage, got one kill, five assists, a um, bit of team damage here, sorry for that, but four components destroyed, uh, and three kill most damage dealt. We're going over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alright, second game of the day, we are playing Assault on the Mining Collective. I'm very happy that I'm so fast because I really want to get out of this Delta 3, Delta 4 area. I expect the enemy to push very hard onto our base and therefore I'm just, just dropping to the right side here. It's very important to get out of this. So if you are in the tunnel, if you find yourself in the tunnel as an Assault mech, early on or in the mid game, the enemy will just destroy you from the Delta 4 area. Get out of there! <laughs> this is not good. It's not a good spot. So we have uh, one AFK assault mix, so it seems it is um, a pity that we have that. Okay, that, that's a problem. So we need to carry hard. We need to we need to go super try hard here. I'm tr trying to drag out the game as long as possible because if we can just deal damage over time, we kind of can try to mitigate our disadvantage here. Um, we got an Atlas there. Shida Giki, um, what's that, an Atlas S, MRM-10s, a lot of MRM-10s, large laser AC-20, super hot build, he can sustain the damage. If you pressure the, that Atlas, he's going to die Target instantly. Uh, not instantly, because he is still an Atlas, but, you know, he will have a bad time defending himself. So, um, we need to make sure that we, you know, get close to that Atlas and just push him down. Problem is, again, yeah, my hot build is not best for, for brawling as well. Yeah, <laughs> about that. Oh my god. Uh, don't abandon the center. Just, just uh, get back and build a firing line. I saw you, but I can't shoot you. Stormcrow. Oh, no, 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 no. Now I can't do that. Yeah, that Stormcrow is dead. Can we get a UAV in Echo 4, please? I want to know what's going on in the center. 
All right, so, oh no, this is a thing that I really don't like. People just uh, stepping in front of Assault Max. I mean, I got massive firepower and I can't utilize it because um, I, I am getting getting blocked. So this is what I do here. I just, oh damn it. I just wait until the enemy comes. But it's not leading anywhere, so I'm going to retreat, yeah. My team is kind of again abandoning me or abandoning the spot. Pop that cool shot. Let's get another shot out. Miss everything. Oh my god. Uh, can we do that? Probably not. So we have no intel on the enemy's armor. It's uh, it's a really bad situation here. So, but it was from the beginning, and uh, my team is fighting on the right side though. So can we shoot that? We can shoot that Atlas. We can help out. That was good. So I want to take it super slow here. This is my plan. It was the plan in the beginning. And uh, we, we stick to that. We got two kills. This is really good. Really valuable. I kind of want to take the center back, guys. What's going on the right side? Oh, we got a cataphrag. Yeah, we can help there. Definitely. We got him. Okay, uh, let's push the center. I'm going in for my king crab. Are you following? Oh, damn it. Uh, we got a hunchback there. He needs to die before we go to the center. And I'm too hot. Okay. Now, sorry, I need to wait for uh, for a second. I'm still too hot. New target acquired. Okay, let's do it. We're pushing right side into the center. Are you ready? This is going going to be either very good or very bad. Okay, let's go. Follow up, follow up. Shoot everybody that is shooting me. Okay, let's take the center back from the enemy. Get that Timberwolf. Kilo. Okay, open him up. Get wrecked. Nice. Nobody's here anymore. Okay, uh, turn around. They are behind us. Okay. Got him. Ooh, this is actually working out. I'm very happy about that. Okay, he's dead. We have three enemies still around, and I assume that they are in the Delta 4, Delta 3, Echo 4 area. I would be there if I was them. Yeah, look at that. Got a summoner, which is a bit scary, I have to say. Um, that was not quite in range. But yeah, we are super fast again. We can get back there and try to kill that guy. What does he have? Was it a Gauss rifle? Interesting build. Gauss PPC on a summoner. Well, why not? I mean, wh wh why not? If you can do it, then then just do it. So let's get close to him. Let's uh, try to kill him. We've got a light mech around, which is a locust uh, harassing him like a boss there. Okay, leg is open. Let's go for it. All right. Oh, if you can pin him down, that would be great. There we go. <laughs> All right. He has no weapons anymore. It's an easy kill. Let's kill him. Cool! That's it! That's it! Only one enemy alive. Um, I know that I cooked myself, but it was the last enemy here, so I don't care about heat. So, <laughs> that's it. Whew. I was actually scared about that in the first phase of the game, but again, we just uh, stayed focused. We just uh, played the uh, damage over time game. Uh, the enemy couldn't really get an angle on us. Wait, base is being captured? There's a guy in our base. How did that happen? Sneaky bastard. <laughs> okay, let's try to kill him. It's a locust. Oh, this is this is going to be an interesting encounter. Let's see if we can if we can get the locust or not. Oh. Okay. So oh yeah, he's damaged. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. It was a quick kill on the locust. And yeah, we won the game. It was really cool. Let's have a look at the end score before we finish the video. And um, yeah, then that's it. I really like this King Crab. Dealt 712 damage here, got two kills, nine assists, four components destroyed. And that's the MRM King Crab. I hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you want to support me, go down below to the description. There's the link to my Patreon page. And I hope to see you on the battlefield. Goodbye.